There's also the psychiatrist. And finally, the pathologist. After examining all of the evidence, which of these four do you think took out the Surgeon General? Did you get it? So the key here is what the Surgeon General was assassinated with, a scalpel. The plastic surgeon had two scalpels, but both of them are used in his line of work, so that's not suspicious. The dentist needs her scalpel for routine surgeries, and the pathologist uses theirs to dissect cadavers. That just leaves the psychiatrist. Psychiatry relies on non-invasive treatments, so why does he have a scalpel in his belongings? Busted! Sorry, Doc, but you might call this a Freud.